Artworks are unique. That's what gives them value and makes them objects of desire, as well as investments. The market for art is continuously growing. Having increased by 12% since 2017, the market's turnover in 2018 amounted to 67 billion, broken down into 40 million individual transactions. But included in these figures are only those transactions that are carried out by galleries, auction houses, or other commercial sellers. With the inclusion of private sales, the market is more likely in the range of $100 billion. Even if you have never bought or sold a piece of art, everyone knows a little bit about art. But experts estimate that at least 30% of artworks are likely to be forgeries. R cannot be declared as verified originals because of an incomplete provenance. The art world needs a better solution to validate all unique artworks and safely update their history and provenance, including sales, transports, restorations, and other transactions. For Art Technologies introduces a first-of-its-kind innovation, the For Art app with its digital biometric artwork passport and identification to bring more transparency, security, and process efficiency to all market participants in the art world. The For Art solution is a symbiosis of their patented augmented authentication technology that extracts the molecular and visible nanoparticle surface structure of any artwork with nothing but a smartphone. The information is stored in a high security environment and to ensure its immutability, all transactions are hashed with a timestamp on the blockchain. The unique combination of these technologies in the 4R passport is the foundation for a new global standard. Here's a look at how the 4R app can digitize daily tasks without changing routines, make them easy and secure, and how all of it actually works. To understand why the 4R app is so secure, you have to know what blockchain technology means. Blockchain is a community-based technology that enables public tracking and validation of records, the safe approval and exchange of values, and the algorithms for smart contracts in real time. It's called a blockchain because computers periodically collect, verify, and record transaction data groups called blocks. Each of these blocks are secured and linked to each other using cryptographic principles. So each block has its own digital ID the so-called hash, and each new block's hash gets bound to the previous block's hash, thus forming an unbreakable chain, the blockchain. The master copy of a blockchain is not stored on a single centralized computer. Instead, it exists simultaneously on every participant's computer in a network. So any new entry will be approved, verified, timestamped, and then immutably recorded as a new block on all computers in the network. Thus, a unique record with a unique history is building the blockchain. Any change on the blockchain will create a new block and will need the consensus of the whole network that the change or transaction is valid. This means if somebody wants to hack or falsify a single record, they would have to falsify the entire chain and fool all the computers in the network all at once, all over the world, at the same time. The core of the 4 Art app is the patented augmented authentication technology that can record the digital fingerprint and condition report in the digital artwork passport, along with all the important information about its history, origins, and background. If I was to register a piece of art, first, I need to identify myself, similar to opening a bank account, because all users wanting to register a piece of art or make changes to its data need to have an ID. I need my passport to fill in these information. I have to scan my passport or ID front and back. And the 4Art app automatically extracts all necessary information to be implemented into the 4Art app registration module with all the personal data to enable the 4Art app to verify my identity according to official compliance governments and KYC standards. Once I'm registered, 
I can now use the powerful software to capture an artwork's surface and textural properties as it can read the visible nanoparticle structure simply by using the smartphone's camera. Let's do that now. Take a look at this. In front of me, I have four obviously identical prints. Let's select one to be their original artwork. I'll take this one. So, put these away. And in order to register this piece of art, I select register mode. And first take a full shot of the artwork. Then I enter the basic information of the artwork to be registered. The augmented authentication technology transforms the artwork's deep structure, its DNA, into a unique digital fingerprint. Then I register three detail areas of the artwork, which are most suited to read its deep structure. Select an area of the artwork that you can easily remember and recognize. Scan over the artwork. Also, I am voice guided by the app on how to exactly position the smartphone's camera. The software will confirm my selection and in case of doubt, ask me to select another spot. Each selected area will be marked by a virtual pin, which I have to fit into a circle which appears in white, red, or green, depending on the distance to the marked area. We are analyzing the collected data. We kindly ask for a little patience until we proceed to the next step. After taking the three detailed shots, the digital fingerprint is created and gets stored in the digital 4Art passport, along with any other relevant provenance documentation. The 4Art Passport is additionally secured with the blockchain, thus making the artwork's information tamper-proof and always up to date. A future sale, exhibition, or transport is recorded in minutes. To check the registration, we simply change to Recognition Mode. Again, the software requires another complete shot in order to recognize and identify the image in the database. Find the ball that is marking the fingerprint on the artwork. Scan over the artwork. Scan over the artwork. Scan over the artwork. Catch the ball. Catch the ball. Scan over the artwork. We are analyzing the collected data. Here it is. The software reports first, I know this piece of art, and second, I recognize its deep structure. An artwork with a 4Art passport can now be compared to any other object pretending to be the same art piece with just a smartphone and the 4Art app. Let's try this with a second image, the copy. So, it looks identical, even to an expert's eye. Again, we select recognition mode. And now scan the copy. I let the smartphone guide me like before and match the area now. Now the software compares the scan to the records in the database. And we are now preparing and showing you a condition comparison for one authentication area. As you can see, it recognizes that this is something different. A copy, a forgery, but definitely not the original. The 4Art app provides a host of advantages to the full spectrum of participants in the art world. But all art, regardless of its story or value, has a single beginning. The artist. Let's take a look at the benefits the 4Art app brings to an artist. He has just finished and signed his new artwork. Once the artist registers his artwork with the 4Art app, his copyright is recorded immediately with a timestamp in addition to ruling out any further counterfeiting or provenance questions, ensuring long-term security for the copyright holder. With each secured artwork, the artist's collection grows and automatically creates an advanced digital catalog resume. 
The For Art app offers both emerging and established artists an easy-to-use professional solution to manage their works, ensure their security and originality, update documentation, and interact with gallerists and collectors around the world. For the artists and their collectors, certainty is value. Speaking of galleries, gallerists and their registrars benefit greatly by using the For Art app for their daily tasks, as well as offering their clients an innovative product that answers their future needs. It enables gallerists and art dealers to offer their customers and collectors a modern and future-oriented due diligence standard that has been highly sought after with regard to security, authenticity, and transparency. The For Art Passport ensures the all-encompassing DNA, including fingerprint provenance and significant work-related data, is transferred and maintained with the ForArt app during each cell or transaction. Furthermore, all documentation, status, and condition reports are standardized and easy to handle. Art fair and exhibition logistics are digitized and significantly streamlined, saving time and money with unprecedented high-end standards. Until now, artwork data was only tracked on digital protocols without a reliable connection to the physical object itself. For the first time, the 4Art technology solution can inextricably link the digital DNA fingerprint of a registered artwork to its historical documentation. The permanent connection between artwork and its historical data enables a unified certification method that cannot be forged or manipulated. For now, and for later generations, any modification or transaction concerning the artwork will be registered in the For Art Passport. Let's take a look at what kind of tasks or transactions the For Art app makes easier, safer, and more cost efficient. Central to the For Art app is the issuance of certificates around all typical art world transactions. For example, the Certificate of Ownership. They are added to the artwork's unique For Art passport in a living provenance in just a few steps. Any change of ownership generates a tamper-proof digital certificate and requires a digital handshake and verification of the artwork's fingerprint. Once this certificate is issued, the new ownership of the art object is also recorded and secured in the For Art passport. Any major transaction of an artwork requires a condition report, be it the change of ownership, the lending to an exhibition or a museum, or a restoration, or any kind of transportation. These condition reports are time-consuming and expensive because they need accurate expertise, yet remain prone to human error. With the For Art app, condition reports can easily be created on a smartphone by any authorized user within minutes and save up to 80% of the cost. Because the For Art app not only recognizes the authenticity of an artwork, it recognizes any changes and damages which might occur to the object, giving clear evidence and traceability for any damage. Future doubt about who is liable for damages, a costly affair for not just insurers, can be ruled out. Additional functions relevant for a museum like audio guides, and process automation will be integrated without extra effort. An example. Let's say a user wants to ship an art object to another user. Being the sender, he will generate a certificate of good condition at handover to the transporter. Then the transporter will generate a certificate of handover requiring an insurance policy. Once this is done, a new certificate of possession is generated between sender and transporter and stored in the For Art Passport. Once the transporter delivers the art object, another certificate of possession is generated between the transporter and the receiver. All three required certificates can easily be generated and secured with the For Art app. And just as mentioned before, the For Art app 
recognizes any changes and damages which might have occurred to the object before or during transportation and gives clear evidence of liability or non-liability for any damage. It's plain to see how the condition reports generated with the ForArt app add security and process efficiency to any transaction from selling artworks to shipping, as well as on-demand insurance solutions. Additionally, logistics and transport service providers benefit from the included track and trace functionality. Owners of damaged images can access restoration services with the ForArt app, which are vetted for their quality and ability to preserve historic artworks. Restorers and conservators are able to record all the details of their work or access the details of past restoration or conservation work. Restoration of artwork generates another certificate, a certificate of restoration. This certificate is generated when a restorer finishes an artwork. It requires two users, the restorer and the user who commissions them. Once issued, the ForArt app requests the updated fingerprint. The condition of the artwork before and after restoration remains with the image's data set, while the last known digital fingerprint will be used whenever a certificate needs to be issued. Now that was a lot of information, but to give you a deeper insight on special themes, I am very happy to welcome our For Art app specialist, Dino. Welcome, Dino. Thank you, Eric. Well, the For Art app includes a lot of revolutionary features, and one we're most excited about is the integrated virtual reality gallery. Every artwork that is registered in the For Art app can be shown and enjoyed free of charge in virtual reality anytime and anywhere. And what's more, you can share your artworks with friends, family, and of course, potential collectors, so they can enjoy the art as well and view it wherever they like. In an art world that is as changed as it is now, after what we've seen in the last coming months, it's a really important tool for artists or galleries to show their art across the globe and to find new collectors wherever they are. So you said anywhere. Could you show it to me here too? Sure, I can show it to you right away. Great. Here, we're now in the virtual reality gallery. Oh. And as you can see, you can view the art pieces. So how do I... How do I get into one of these art pieces? Very easy. You just choose the art piece and then you tap on it and then you get a close up view so you can really check it out. And then again, if you like it, you can just press a button and you can request more information and get in contact with the artist or the gallerist. So this works, as you said, anywhere at any time, whenever I want, because it's virtual. Of course, yeah, it's virtual. It works on your, on your mobile device. Doesn't matter if it's a smartphone or a tablet. Works anytime, anywhere. You can view your own art, or we have art that is shared publicly by artists and gallerists, which you can enjoy as well. You just click a single button. You can then choose the art, and then you can enjoy that as well. So, Dino, tell me, who all can use and benefit from the technology? Well, the virtual reality gallery can be used by anyone. If you're an artist or a gallerist, for example, you have a virtual showroom that can be enjoyed anywhere in the world 24 hours a day. So you can reach clients and potential collectors best possible. If you're a collector yourself, for example, and you want to show off to your friends, you can show them the gallery as well. If you're a museum, you can register your collection, you can register all the works that you have and show them at any time. You can curate your spaces so you can choose exactly how you want to present your art or you can even design your own spaces. So you can model your museum, you can model your gallery or you can model the kind of showroom that you'd always imagined. Everything is possible because it's digital and it's very simple. A work that is once registered can be shown in whatever way you like again, anytime and anywhere. A win-win situation for everyone. Absolutely, and that's what we're trying to achieve. Do you know every transaction produces a certificate, right? Maybe you could explain that to me and also the track and trace procedure. Of course, no problem. So when we are in the artwork passport, we have an option to show us the whole track and trace record. That's everything that's happened to the art piece. So 
from the beginning when it's registered to every time its location is changed, every time the possession scene changes, so someone else takes possession of the art piece, every time it's authenticated. All these things are kept in the track and trace record and what is really important to note is that each of these entries are secured with the blockchain. So we encrypt it and then we store this information on the blockchain, meaning that all these entries are always valid because they cannot be manipulated afterwards. They are immutable and always valid. So every collector, every broker, every artist or gallerist, they can be sure that the information they find in the 4Art app passport is always valid and absolutely accurate. Plus, for ease of use, it's updated automatically to make it as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the certificates, what we have in the artwork passport as well is this little category that we see here where we can start transfers mm -hmm. for the artwork. So, for example, we can start a transfer of ownership, we can start a loan process, and we can also um, have the location change or the possession change recorded as well. Really important, of course, these things happen all the time in the art business, location changes and possession changes. So these processes are free as well because we want to make sure that the provenance and the history of an art piece is as accurate and as up to date as possible. We want people to use the 4Art app and costs shouldn't be an issue. So we enable that. Nice. And how would this work? Could you maybe demonstrate it to me once? Of course I can. So. We can take this art piece here and I can just, for example, transfer the ownership to you. That's very easy to do. I just click on transfer ownership. Mm -hmm. I start the process. I enter the email address mm -hmm. of the recipient. In that case, that would be you. Then I confirm and I start the transfer. And then you should get a little pop-up in your Forward app notifying you that I am starting the transfer of ownership over to you. Hmm. There it is. New notification. View. Do you want to confirm? Yes, I do. I accept. That's great. And now we start the multi-step process. Yeah. It doesn't take very long at all, but we want to make sure, especially when it comes to ownership changes, that everything is as secure as possible. So you've accepted my Request, I have mm -hmm. the notifications here. I reconfirm that I want to continue this process. And now you'll receive a little pin that you can check mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is secure and everything is valid. Confirm code. And now you can see the artwork is being taken from my collection and transferred to you. Everything is highly secured and of course, again, once you've received ownership, you can find that ownership change in your track and trace secured by the blockchain. So you or maybe a collector afterwards knows exactly that um, this transfer has happened, when it has happened, and it's always valid and they can rely on that information 100%. So are there any special certificates and how many art pieces can I do at a time? Well, there are, of course, very special certificates. So what we have in the artwork passport is what we call the provenance. That's the classic provenance, the really important uh, historical events in the history of an artwork. So for example, important exhibitions or being featured in a catalog. You can find these here very quickly, very easily, so you can get a good understanding of how prominent the art piece is. Mm -hmm. and. Of course, collections are fairly big. You usually don't transport just one art piece. Yeah. So we made sure that you can combine several art, art pieces into what we call a compilation. Mm -hmm. And then you can um, transfer that compilation as one, which is especially important, for example, for logistics who transport vast quantities mm -hmm. of artworks. And it makes the logistics process, uh, the customs process very, very easy because you can just handle all the collection, all that compilation in just one easy action. So for example, if you want to transfer or if you want to, for example, print uh, customs information for that compilation, you can do that with just one or two clicks, making it very simple to move and to handle and to track even large quantities of art pieces at a time, no problem. So Dino, this is very, very impressive to me, but maybe you can give us a hint, a look into the future, uh, seek peek. 
What are we to await there? There's many things to come in the future, of course, but sticking with the virtual reality galleries, right now you can share the artworks, but what we want to do is create a real community where you can create your own spaces, be it those that are real or those that are only in your imagination, and sharing these spaces with others, for example, so they can really create the kind of collection that they've always dreamt of. What's more, creating that open platform, openly sharing artworks, being able to curate your own collections in the space that you like with all the artworks that you've always dreamt of can help create the kind of global connected art world community that we've always envisioned. This is a revolution. This is the next digital age for the art world and we're really excited to help bring it about. And that from anywhere. Absolutely. Exciting. Of yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. This was a brief introduction of 4Art Technologies' unique and patented augmented authentication technology, which sets an unprecedented standard for the global art market. In summary, these are the services and standards the 4Art app already offers. Creation and registration of the digital biometric fingerprint for any artwork. Verification of authenticity. Creation and matching of digital condition reports. Digital tracking and maintaining of provenance and historical data. Digital catalog resume. Tracking of ownership or possession change. Implemented VR application. AI-supported image recognition, and digital audio guides for museums and galleries. And these are the 4Art evolutions, which are coming up soon. Integration of complementary market leaders and business solutions in the 4Art ecosystem. Tokenizing artworks with unambiguous connection between the token and the asset. First of its kind, KYC solution for galleries via smartphone within minutes. Customized service solutions for partners of the 4Art ecosystem. Interactive picture, text, and audio recognition. Smartphone robotic systems for the administration and archiving of complex museum and cultural institutions. For more information, check the 4Art Technologies website or follow us on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And thank you for watching.